Hello everyone, this video is about how to set up Jupyter for export to PDF and export to HTML. Now there's a couple of complications when you try and do this from Jupyter. If you've included charts, graphs, you may find that you cannot get them to appear when you export to HTML or to PDF. Also, you may find you get this error if you try and use NB convert, which is a popular way to try and convert the notebook. No suitable Chromium executable found on the system. Please use Allow Chromium Download. That was the most recent error I had. Prior to that, I had this error. <laughs> Pipeteer is not installed to support web PDF conversion. Please install MB Convert Web PDF to enable. That's a bit of a cryptic message, as is this one. So hopefully I'm going to clear that up for you. And basically this is the TLDR. So um, <laughs> this, if you learn nothing else from this video, just learn these two lines because these two lines are what allow you to export to HTML and see the plots. Without this, you won't see the plots. This Pipeteer is what does the PDF and puts the graph into the PDF. There is an issue with the PDF, which is it spreads the charts, graphs, whatever you want to call them, it spreads the charts over hmm, over pages, split pages. So if you've got three pages, you might find the top of a graph on bottom of page two and the, the bottom of the graph on the top of page three. But um, let me just show you what I've been doing here as well, because it might be of interest. I've been looking at my YouTube analytics data. I imported the CSV export from YouTube as a pandas data frame. I removed a couple of columns, the estimated revenue and the content. I sorted the values by views, sendings force. And this is just the top 20 here. So I'm looking at the video title, publish time. I'm curious. So these are all the um, videos that I've ever made, but the data that I want to analyze is just for this year. So um, yeah. There we see that's the date when they were created, but the, the statistics are just for the period from 1st of January until today. So, yes, yeah, subscribers, impressions, and so on. So, what I've actually done is fig equals px, where px is plot the express, doc scatter, the views on the x, and subscribers on the y, uh, giving it a title. The mode is markers, so the, these are the markers, these little blue circles and fig.show. So these actually give you the name because what I've done here is title views equals subscribe along here also hover underscore data equals video title. So when I hover over the dots, I get the video title as well. So there you can see 18 subscribers, 4,601 views for my extract, ta extract text from video tesseract. Um, and I've done another one looking at watch time hours. So um, anyway, that's that might or might not be of interest. So what is more important for this video actually is download as. And let me just show you the HTML first. And this takes a few seconds and then it asks where I want to put it. So let me just give it a new name. Video underscore one. Demo H HTML dot html um if i open that it's quite a large file so that no, was quite quick um what you will see is as i scroll down we've got all of the pandas calculations and we also have the interactive plotly graph which is what we wanted now we can see watch time versus views so it's fairly linear there's a few that have had less views but more watch time um, so back here and let's just do the other option which is to download as let's do pdf via html this takes a while also it's working out all the graphs doing all the panda stuff and then formatting it so in a second or two I've still got the spinny disk here, so it's still doing something. 
Um, my computer is not the quickest, and it's also recording via OBS right now, so it's um, it's yeah, it's busy. Uh, let's call it I don't know yt underscore x, and let's open that. And this is the bit where I'll show you. So here we've got when it opens, we've got the graph spread over or the chart spread over two pages, which is not ideal. So yeah, I will look up a setting for that. I'm sure there is one. And what was the other thing? So that was doing it as downloading as a PDF via HTML. Let's just try PDF via LaTeX. Is it called LockTech? I've heard people call it LockTech. I don't know. I don't use it. It's, it's for academic people, not like me. Um, so we got spinny disk still, yeah. You can't. You probably can't quite see it, but it's, it is on the tab. The little disc is still spinning. So, within a few seconds, we should have our other PDF. Let's just see if it works better. PDF yt underscore z. And let's just see if we get the graph spread over one or two pages. Yeah, you see, this is. You'll notice this might look familiar from sort of academic documents, maybe. It's used a different font, and also you can see uh, it's it's not it's not formatted it in the way that uh, it's formatted the text rather than using any nice graphics. And if you do it this way, you don't even get the graph. So um, the best way to do it, obviously, is with the graph if that's what you want. So PDF via HTML if you want the PDF with the graph, and do HTML if you want the HTML. So um, there we go. I'll leave you with these two. So import plotly.io as PIO, PIO.renderers.default equals notebook. That's what you need for the HTML. And this is what you need to do handle the PDF side of things and get past <laughs> this error and this error. So I'm partly documenting this for myself in case I need to come back one day and I've forgotten all of this again. So um, apart from that, I hope it's of use to you. And don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. And see you again. See you next time.